Hey everyone, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest, and today I'm going to show you a native ground cover that's perfect for a dry sunny spot. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about Antenaria neglecta, commonly called pussy toes. So this is an herbaceous perennial. It's native to the entire northeastern part of the United States, uh, all the way up into the New England states, down into North Carolina, across into Tennessee, and all the way uh, as far west as Montana. So it has a pretty wide distribution. It's, zone, it's uh, hardy from zones three through eight. It even goes up into Canada. So this is a great plant, like I mentioned in the introduction, for dry, sunny locations. I'm talking about uh, locations that have thin soils, uh, that are very dry, full sun. Uh, this is typically going to be found growing in those type of conditions, old abandoned fields, rocky slopes, things like that. So uh, it's, it's going to fare well in full sun like that. It's going to thrive on neglect. Uh, this isn't a plant for wet spots. If you've got low-lying areas that retain a lot of moisture, this plant's not going to do great there. But if you have a problem area in full sun, and uh, even, even some uh, part shade, as long as it's dry, this plant should thrive there. So there's a couple reasons why I like this plant. And uh, I've incorporated it into my garden and really plan on incorporating it even more into my garden. Uh, for one, it's the aesthetics of this plant. I really like this plant from an aesthetic uh, perspective. It's really low growing, gets a, a maximum height of maybe about 12 inches. The new growth on it has a really attractive uh, silver foliage, kind of reminiscent of Dusty Miller, the annual that you see planted in pots. Both of these plants, the Dusty Miller and this uh, Pussy Toes, are in the Aster family. <clears throat> uh, this will spread over time to form dense colonies, so it's going to be good for choking out weeds. Uh, it spreads through runners or stolons. Those stolons will uh, grow out over time and root in. That'll create a new plant, and then that plant, you know, so on and so forth. And that process will keep repeating itself until you have a really nice, dense colony of these plants. Uh, another aesthetic uh, thing that I like about this plant are these little white flowers that bloom in uh, late spring, early summer. So these little white flowers are uh, how this plant got its name Pussy Toes because apparently whoever named this thought they looked like the, the toes of cats. And whether or not that's true or not, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, but they are a really cute little flower. I really like the flowers on these. These bloomed almost immediately. Uh, for me, they bloomed as soon as the snow melted off of them, basically. They were blooming. And I thought that was really a pretty amazing thing. Uh, these they seem to actually grow all winter long because this was just one little sprig when I planted this last year. I planted them late last year. I have a, a couple other patches going over here, and it just seemed like during the winter time, even they were like doubling in size. It's you know it's it's a good eight or nine inches across and wide. So I'm really happy about the growth rate of these, and I plan on uh, dividing them up over time and putting them in different areas. Of my garden so you know I, I love that uh, I love the look of them I love the flowers I love the fact that they're really dense so they're gonna really help choke out uh, unwanted weeds uh, as far as wild as far as wildlife value goes one of the main reasons I planted this plant is because it's the host plant for the American painted lady butterfly which is a medium-sized orange butterfly really attractive butterfly and the caterpillars will feed on this plant so if you're you know if you're into butterfly gardening or if you just want to start attracting butterflies into your yard, uh, you know, caterpillars, that whole cycle of life, uh, which is really fun to watch. I would highly recommend looking for this plant uh, and uh, trying to incorporate it into your, into your garden. <clears throat> uh, you can buy these online. I've never seen these in a local nursery. Um, this year, though, I'm going to start asking for them. Because I've, I, you know, I just want to start asking these nurseries for plants like this. Uh, because you ask, if you ask them for them, they're going to become aware of them if they're not aware of them, and hopefully, you know, they'll start carrying them over time. But uh, I had to find these online. 
So I have about six or seven patches going right now, and I plan on later in the year as these spread out a little bit more, I'm going to divide them up. But uh, I just want to share this with you today. I really love these plants. I love the way they look, and I'm really excited to see uh, the butterflies coming and laying eggs on them and watching the caterpillars grow. It's really uh, one of the most enjoyable things uh, about gardening for me. So I hope you found this, uh, this video useful and informative. Uh, you know, I would encourage you to you know, go out there and uh, look up these plants, uh, find them online, order them, plant them. You're going to be happy that you did. And, uh, you know, get out there, get your hands dirty, and uh, get gardening. And hope you have a great day. Once again, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest. And uh, share this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below. I really appreciate everybody that's subscribed to my channel. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you.